Hi folks, Ryan Keogh from Guardian Avionics here. Uh, we've had some questions this past week about our Aero 553 multifunction CO detector with clock timer and temperature functions and what the backlight and alert looks like during nighttime and daytime flying conditions. As you can see here, we've got the Aero 553. It is uh, running with the Zulu time and the local time currently. We're just going to quickly uh, scroll through the various functions like the stopwatch function there, uh, or I'm sorry, the flight timer, then the stopwatch, and then the battery uh, voltage indicator. We're going to move on to the uh, inside air temperature and outside air temperature. Obviously, we don't have the uh, outside air temperature probe installed currently on this unit that we are using for demo, so that's why it's blanked out. Uh, next, we have the uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, we have Celsius, then Fahrenheit, uh, IAT, and OAT. And then it goes on to the cabin altitude pressure and the CO level, uh, which is currently reading as normal because it's not showing any sort of CO in the uh, atmosphere that we've got here, which is good for the office, um, which would normally be displayed if there was no CO, CO uh, level uh, showing. If there was CO in the air, we actually show the level here uh, above 50 parts per million and above. And then back to the density altitude calculation, and then back to the timer. We can do a reset and show what the LED looks like. Those are your self time, those are your self check uh, resets right there. Again, the red is for the alert and the amber is for the warning area. Warning area is between 50 to 99 parts per million, and red is over 99 parts per million. And that is the audible alarm that's on the unit itself. This also connects via RS-232 in the back uh, to uh, your, your audio uh, panel, which gives you a headset tone generator, which will give you the audio uh, alert inside your, uh, your headset. So we've got this uh, going on. Obviously, this is daylight flying conditions. Let's turn out the lights and see what it looks like at night. As you can see, we've got a, a little bit of ambient uh, light obviously still in here, but it's pretty dark in here. Uh, the, uh, the actual uh, backlight display is pretty bright, but uh, not bad. Um, and again, we'll cycle through the test. And those are your alert buttons again, your alert uh, lights. So that's what it looks like at night. For comparison, we could, uh, we could show you a little bit of what it looks like in comparison to the, uh, the G3X Touch that we have currently running next to it. We'll kind of pan over and give you both of them. So as you can see, the G3X Touch kind of is uh, very, very bright. We'll try to you know, bring that back in the picture. You know, obviously, when this adjusts for the, uh, the brightness here, the G3X Touch is definitely brighter than the actual unit, so it should not actually blow out your nighttime vision hopefully. So again there is the uh, there's the Aero 553 multifunction display unit for CO levels and uh, clock timer and temperature functionality. Thanks!